Hello and welcome to Kibi's Collectibles. I am Pam and today we are headed back into Goodwill. It is close to Christmas, so chances are we are going to find some wonderful Christmas goodies because people are at this point getting rid of their old and buying new Christmas decor and even regular home decor during this time of year. So let's get started and see what we can find. I found the cutest little coffee mug. Look at the beautiful coloring it had. So festive for Christmas. It was $2.99 and looks as if it had been made in Italy. It did have a few little scratches, chip marks right there on the rim. So I left it behind, but isn't it darling? This red planter would be a fantastic addition to any tablescape or just somewhere around your home during Christmas time. The coloring is fantastic. This watering can is actually a ceramic piece. It has Le Crusette on the imagery there and it is made by Amco and that does sound familiar. If you know anything about this piece, let me know down below in the comments. Right next to that, I did see this really cute lamp. I loved the lamp base, but the lamp shade had poor craftsmanship. I did not like seeing all of the glue on the shade, so I left that one there. And this piece is a stunning little container. I think it might be silver plated. I'm not quite sure. It was $4.99. It had that hinged lid and I just thought it was a gorgeous little piece. Now behind that I saw a Pampered Chef bowl. It is a wooden bowl I believe made out of teak and it was only $1.99 and in pretty good condition. You know, I always love a good pottery piece. I saw this beautiful mug and it looks as if it had been at a different Goodwill. We don't usually have those types of tags and it did have a crack, so I left that one there. And check out this green teapot. It reminds me of the bamboo and panda planter that I purchased not too long ago. I do see that it has a string on the handle, which tells me that it has been probably in someone else's antique shop at one point or another. Now these little resin pieces here, you probably recognize the tags. They are from the spring shop from Hobby Lobby and the pricing here has me so confused. The cow, $5.99. The pig, This mug was about to go home with me. I thought it was gorgeous until I saw the price. This blue bowl almost had me until I noticed all of the crackle. I'm not a big fan of crackle, but the bowl was gorgeous from Pier 1. Here we are, we've got a little bit of Christmas decor.
I like this little green set here with the rooster on it. Unfortunately, part of the cork on one of these pieces was broken off. Now this is a little vintage piece here. It's called Up the Ladder. And I did peek in the box. It had all of the pieces intact and they were actually still in their plastic wrap. Look at this beautiful teapot. I'm actually thinking this is more of a coffee pot because it is tall. And check out this candle stick. And this is a super price for anyone looking for stocking holders. This originally came from Target. And y'all, I really loved this little box here. It is just a box, kind of like a cigar box or, you know, a pencil box. And it's a box that I'm sure that you could keep all of your cards in. What a cute little piece there. Check out this Santa boot. Isn't this the cutest little planter? And on the bottom it says 1280. So this is about, yeah, this is 40 years old. I came across this box of random Christmas ornaments and I tried looking through the box it's a little hard when you have a camera in one hand and you're trying to dig with the other hand, but they had some really cute ornaments in this box and it was only $5.99. The first thing that I purchased that I would like to share with you are these beautiful stocking holders. I love the color of these stocking holders and especially because they are deer. We have the buck, the doe, and two little fawn. This would be a beautiful addition to anyone's mantle. I have put these in my booth already and hopefully they will sell before Christmas. If not, I'm going to pack them up and hold on to them until next year. I purchased this Black Santa's Boot Planter and I am going to try to use this to make an assemblage. You know, the price was right for 99 cents and this piece is 40 years old. So it's gonna be a great little vintage assemblage, hopefully, I'll have it done before next Christmas. <laughs> next, I did purchase that Pampered Chef bowl, and I was fortunate enough to find another Pampered Chef bowl a little bit farther down in the store. So I'm gonna have both of these bowls in my home, and I think I'm just gonna set nuts, walnuts, pecans out for the holiday season. I decided to buy the vintage up the ladder Christmas decor. Look how adorable this is leaning up against my tree. I think that I'm going to sell this in my booth. Chances are it won't sell this year. I don't know. If not, I'll hang on to it until next year. I only paid $1.99 for this 
and it is a vintage piece. It will definitely bring Christmas joy and cheer to someone. I decided to purchase the box of random ornaments inside. And when I got home, I was able to take everything out and see what I found. Some of the things were these beautiful ornaments here, this partridge and this Santa Claus. But the most amazing find from that box were these four Kurt Adler 1982 Wizard of Oz ornaments. Now, just look at them. They are in great shape, especially for their age. There was a little bit of paint loss here and there on the ornaments, but overall, they all had their little movable parts, and they were just adorable. So, these are already hanging in my booth here in this picture. But I will tell you that within one hour of the store opening that morning, they were already sold. So this was a major score for me as I sold them for $35 and the whole box was only $5.99. All right, my friends, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It is free. And I hope I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.